Connecting your bank and credit card accounts to QuickBooks is the fastest way to accurately record your company's financial transactions. Let's go over how to connect a bank or credit card account to QuickBooks and choose how far back you want QuickBooks to pull your transaction history. To get started, select the Banking menu. There are two ways to bring in transactions from your bank and credit card accounts. The first option is to connect your bank or credit card so QuickBooks downloads your transactions automatically. The second option is to download your company's historical transactions from your bank and credit card in a file. Then you can upload that file so QuickBooks adds those transactions to your accounts. If your bank doesn't have the option to connect your accounts, you can usually still get a file and upload transactions manually. However, keep in mind, you need to upload a new file every time you want to bring in more transactions. Connecting your account is faster and easier, since you only have to do it once. Each day, QuickBooks gets new transactions from your bank or credit card whenever they're available. Let's connect an account. Select your bank or credit card from the list of popular financial institutions. Or enter the name of your bank or credit card company and select it from the list. You'll need to enter the username and password you use to log into your bank or credit card's online banking. Each bank and credit card has its own security features and may require a few more steps. You might also need to receive a phone call, text message, or email to verify your identity. And in some cases, you might need to enter the code from a security token issued to you by your bank. Once you've finished with your bank or credit card sign-in steps, QuickBooks looks for all the accounts you have with your financial institution. These could be separate checking and savings accounts within the same banking login or the different credit cards that have been issued for your company's credit card account. Select each account you want to connect. Note that you don't have to select everything you see. You should only select the accounts that are relevant to your business. If you see a personal account that isn't business-related, you can leave it unselected. At this point, QuickBooks will connect your online account with one on your chart of accounts. If you've already set up the account on your chart of accounts, you can choose the relevant account from the drop-down menu, or choose the kind of account you want QuickBooks to create for you. Once you've selected the accounts you want to connect, you need to choose how far back you want QuickBooks to go when it downloads transactions from your bank or credit card account. The default choice is the beginning of last year, but you can choose any date you'd like. For instance, Many businesses want to bring in transactions from just the beginning of the current year. If you don't see the option you want, select Custom and enter the date. Whatever you choose, it's important to note that you shouldn't enter any transaction that occurred before the date you enter. If you ever decide you want to enter something that happened before the date you choose, talk to your accountant. When you are ready, select Connect. Once the connection is complete, you'll see all your business transactions that cleared your bank or credit card from the date you entered to today. When more transactions clear your bank, they'll appear on this list for you to review. The next step is to categorize them, so QuickBooks adds them to the correct accounts. Follow the link at the end of this video to learn how to do that. Now you're ready to connect your bank and credit cards to QuickBooks Online.